Cool. Uh, 419, battleships on a board, or in a board. Oops. Uh, given and to the board, count how many battleships are in it. The battleships are represented by, uh, with X's, empty slots are represented periods. You may assume the fine rules. You receive a battle board made of only battleships or empty slots. Battleships can only be placed horizontally or vertically, okay. Uh, at least one horizontal or vertical cell separates two battleships. There are no adjacent battleships. Okay, so that also seems straightforward. Uh, can you do one pass using all one memory and without mo modifying the value of the board? Mm -hmm. uh, probably. But there's something fun you can do here, actually. Uh, I actually was going to just do it naively with the kind of four loops, but I think um, I think so. Oh, in this case, what you actually want is to uh, 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 see if there's an invariant that comes up, and I actually came up uh, with one right off my head, which I don't know if I could prove right now. Uh, but but for every battleship, uh, I think you know it either well the two things. One is either vertically. A vertical battleship or a horizontal battleship, and in that you, the common piece, no matter where it is on the board, there's the, you could say there's an upper left corner of the battleship, right? And what what does it mean to be an upper left corner? That means there is an X, uh, or a, a space or a cell that's occupied by the battleship, that has nothing to the left or nothing, or well, nothing to the left and nothing on top of it, uh, and as a result, uh. Yeah, and where every other part of that battleship, the same battleship, will have that uh, uh, situation, right? And the fun thing about that, I think, is uh, because they added the constraint where there will always be a cell. Uh, I mean, so that makes that true because there's always a cell between them. So I think if um, so, if you do that, you only need all of one memory. Uh, don't know if I said it okay, but let me know. I'm gonna just oops. I'm just gonna do in C just so that I could uh oh let me see. Oh yeah, I mean this is a full loop in that case, so it should work okay. So yeah, so I'm gonna just do that then. Um so right now we're just counting the up number of upper left X box or uh, a box that's occupied that's X and that has nothing to the left. Yeah, to the left oh, I don't know what but to the left, and then uh, and uh, uh, nothing on top of it, uh, taking account uh, the hour of boundary conditions. But yeah, should be okay. Mm -hmm. That this is okay. I'm gonna lie though. If I would, if I wasn't pushed to kind of do that extra thinking, I might have just done the naive algorithm, which is uh, of n. Is this always a square? I, probably not. So of n times m, and so forth. Uh, but let me finish by this. Um, One more, mm -hmm. the big F statement, uh, which is equal to five J is equal to X. Whoa. Um, hmm. Is there any other edge cases? Probably not. Well, there's one more where this is next to it. 
the other horizontal one. Uh, I'm just going to get this in it. And it's out of typo, this should be okay. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, huh, that's cute, actually. Uh, I mean, it's a cute problem. I don't know why we're asking an interview. So I think uh, a couple of things to know here. I think, uh, I'm not going to lie, I, uh, if I had to do this naively, I would definitely um, uh, have an n times m times k for some length of the board, which I guess is just uh, uh, n or m. So like an n cube algorithm-ish uh, of n cube. Uh, to kind of just see, check the diagonals or horizontals. Uh, but the follow-up did kind of prompt me to think about it in a little bit more, like can we do an one pass and using all of one memory, uh, with, and I don't, which led me to the observation that, uh, you know, you need, if you find a corner, if you will, which is the upper left cell of that battleship, uh, since there's no edge cases with kind of uh, two battleships touching, uh, this is all you need, right? So what I have to code here is, is well, if this spot is occupied, uh, and there's nothing to the left, or, well, actually, this is the nothing on top of it and nothing to the left, then it is a count. Um, so that's a cute problem to get this space from, uh, uh, or the one in complexity to n square and all of one extra space. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, so it's a cute problem for sure. Um, and I, I don't know, some, some days you, you get lucky and kind of think about these immediately. Uh, but yeah, it is definitely, yeah, thanks, John. Uh, it is very similar to item palm where, but I think there is a special, I mean, even by itself, it's a special case of the item palm in a sense that it's just horizontal and vertically. So I would not necessarily have had to do a depth of search, though you could, I mean, you could have done something iteratively if you need to. Um, and you have to keep track and so forth. Uh, but yeah, but it, not sure necessarily why this is a medium. As a result, uh, of course, as you can tell, there's a uh, ten lines of code. But I guess maybe I just got lucky with the inside because that's the that's the thing I don't like necessarily like about these problems is uh, as an interviewer that is. I mean, I actually enjoy this problem a lot as a brain teaser type thing. Uh, but as an interviewer, I don't necessarily enjoy these problems because sometimes, uh, even as someone doing the interview or, or solving the problem as part of an interview, I don't know if I would. Uh, um, no, I don't know if I could have that much confidence in myself that I'm consistent in this regard, right? Like, like today, yeah, okay, I looked at it and I'm like, oh, yeah, I figured this out immediately. But I could also see, like, you yeah, know, maybe there's another day where maybe I, I don't know, didn't sleep that much or whatever, uh, uh, and just, like, have a slightly off day, and it, and I could see myself taking, I don't know, 20 minutes to solve this in the in the cute way. Uh, and, and that's just, like, really, um, I don't know, there's a lot of randomness to that in, in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, uh, as you can kind of guess, uh, I think this is too straightforward uh, without the little hint or without the little trick that they prefer you do. Uh, this is too straightforward for an interview question. I, I don't think I would ever ask this. Uh, I would a maybe ask something relating to what John uh, was relating to, which is an island e problem, which requires some depth research, which is which is actually a, a, a kind of like a reasonable thing to ask on an interview. Uh, but yeah, but. And it's an interview E. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I think it's probably slightly on the easy side, but uh, but I do. I mean, as a brain teasing solving problem, uh, I actually do like this. Uh, and but oops. Uh, but once again, I don't know if I could kind of <laughs> consistently reproduce guessing the right invariant that solves this particular problem. Even though in this case I did. 